Look at all these ships coming in. Oh, that's a cool looking ship. Oh, it's an S-Class for 14 million units. Oh, that is such a cool looking ship, you guys. I don't like the color, though. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up pretty much right where we left off. Uh, we're taking the Radiant Pillar out and leaving our banged up starship here. And um, we're going to just continue looking for um, crash ships with our distress signal charts. Um, so this building here is the one that came in quick frequency what I don't know what that meant uh, came in so let's just go look at it and get it off our our compass and then we'll pop the next chart if you didn't catch the last episode yeah we got in quite a few scuffles in our in our flying bathtub <laughs> it's pretty banged up so I decided to park it on the freighter and take the radiant pillar back out just for this running around stuff that we're doing here And uh, we did find one ship in the last episode, but unfortunately it had a pilot. So we helped him fix it, and we got a pretty measly reward for it. So, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with it, but whatever. Okay, so do we have a free landing here? Man, it's like super laggy. Well, we could get a bunch of whispering eggs and we wouldn't have, a, isn't there supposed to be other stuff around these? Man, they'd be really easy to grab. Is that a knowledge stone? Uh-uh. Okay, well, let's go over here. I'm not going to grab this stuff. Not right now. Okay. Let's, uh, oh, that's not a cave. I thought that was a cave. Let's go in here. Can I shoot that thing? Yeah, that one you can. Some of them I wasn't able to shoot. Okay, let's get all the looting done first and then we'll see what that has to say. Well, I guess that's all we really got going on for us here. Alright, get rid of this crap. Returning user identified terminal now active unlocking data log continuation for analysis. The oceans The oceans here are blood, nothing lives in them, they are alive themselves. Great protein life forms as large as continents, or perhaps there is only one of them. What does such a thing consume, I ask myself? The answer seems to be everything. I found evidence of past life here, but no signs of it. Does the native flora and fauna hibernate when it comes to eat them, then return and repopulate once it retreats? I can feel it moving inside my brain, whispering. It wants me to discard my suit and swim. I discover something coded that's going to help me in my travels, and it's probably just nanites. But, you know, a fair amount of nanites, I guess. Alright, well, we can't go after the dudes with the storm, so I think I'm going to wait the storm out, and then when the storm's over, we'll go after these whispering eggs. Curious to see how cold it gets. Oh, it's minus 139. Well, that's cold enough. Indeed it is. While we're waiting... Uh, 
Yeah, well, I'm not too worried about that. I am not getting into combat in this ship. We are running if something bad happens. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to recharge this. And let's also recharge this. Okay, I think we're good. So we'll wait out the storm and we'll grab the whispering eggs and then we will take off. Okay, now we're down to a balmy minus 63 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I want to try something. This might be a huge mistake, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, can we... Yeah, let's get this on. All right, what happens if we do this? Well, I was hoping it would unlock all of them, but it didn't. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. So let's just run around. Pick that up. And then just kind of play ring around the rosies with these guys. Ah, shoot. You gotta be careful because if you shoot it too much, then you destroy the egg. Ouch. Ah, shit. Destroyed the egg. Easy, easy. What if we melee it? Ooh, that might be better. Oh, where did it go? I got disoriented. Oh, that's because I got kicked away. No! Get over there before the egg disappears. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> they, like, throw you way away from the egg. Okay, that one's probably gone by now, because they don't last very long. Is that all of them? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Okay. We don't want to blow them up, because um, then it brings the sentinels in. Okay, so this was like a supreme waste of time. Well, no, I shouldn't say it was a supreme waste of time. We got 10 larval cores out of that. Uh, so that's 500 nanites right there. Uh, now, let's pop another thingy. Another abandoned building. Doggone it. Come on, game, you're killing me. Okay, same old thing. This is worthwhile to do for the for the whispering eggs though. Okay, so what whoops? Why don't we try the shotgun? We have to be really careful with this, though. Run away. We just have to make sure we don't do a double shot. Did we grab that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, this works a little bit better than the the blaster was. Okay, I think that's all of them. They're a lot easier to get at this place, though, than they are at the other one, because there's not all that other crap in the way. please. There we go. All right, where's the ceiling thing? I awoke from a dream where I was drowning in something thick and gluttonous. Glutinous. It filled my pores and suffocated me. Yuck. I want to believe that this is my tired mind playing tricks. I've been so long without deep sleep. 
The crimson sphere shimmers at the corner of my eye whenever I try to rest. I cannot comprehend how it tracks my spore from world to world. Or is it that I'm following it? The orb cannot be in all places at once. That cannot be. Okay, and something aids me in my journey. More nanites. All right. Let's try it again. All right, tell you what. I'm going to do these abandoned buildings off camera unless something absolutely fantastic happens. Um, they're all probably going to be like this. So the good news is I should come away with a metric butt ton of whispering eggs. So I'll bring you guys back when I actually get an abandoned ship or something else that's worthy of your attention. Alright guys, I got like two more uh, abandoned buildings and then I finally, well I went back up to the freighter, dropped off the whispering eggs and then activated it from up there and I got this distress beacon. So let's hope it's a ship with, not, with, with no owner and a really nice ship. here fantastic so let's do this first um yeah i guess we'll take that okay got some nanites some condensed carbon you know i gotta say that the uh the stuff that the atlas pass one has given me is pretty da pretty darn lame. <laughs> it's really bad. It's like what the heck, man. Okay. So now what we want to do we have our thermal protection thingy on, don't we? Yeah, we just don't have a, a charge for it, so it just gives us more stuff. Okay, so let's see what this has to say. Cockport, uh, cockpit is adorned with trophies of dead creatures perched on every available surface. At the control sits a tendrilled hunter. Its body and face lacerated. The dank smell of blood assails my nostrils as I fight back the nausea. The black box reveals the pilot was attacked by something whilst in flight, but it's unclear what. I could strengthen the warning beacon in the cockpit, but it would leave me vulnerable to attack. S uh, I don't know what that means here. I discover ship technology blueprint. Feature that causes carnage is thankfully long gone. Oh, look at that. We got a free phase beam. All right. That doesn't suck. Okay, now what we want to do is let's do a, let's do a restore point here. And the anvil of the void. What is this? Okay, it's A-class, which is good. Um, broken is all get out. But what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to claim the ship, not swap it. And I think... What we can also do is... 
I think we can break. Okay, hold on. I think we can break some of this stuff down for resources. But do we have to claim it first? Yeah, I'll bet you we have to claim it first. Okay, so um, compare. Claim ship. Okay, the ship is now ours. So I think what we have to do is repair the pulse engine and okay the launch thrusters are good um, but we have to repair the pulse engine so we just need a hermetic seal and metal plating move technology Oh yeah, okay, here, here's how we break it down, so... Wait, didn't that just give us resources? We have to take it out of... Cannot... I thought there was supposed to be a way that we could... Oh, this is a photon cannon, we can't take that out, that's right. But we should be able to take... Yeah, dismantle, there we go. Um... Yeah, let's dismantle that. Look at that, we got a wiring loom and... Some chromatic metal, good. It won't let us dismantle that because that's it. We don't want to dismantle this or this because we've got to get that stuff. Uh, we got to get the ship up to our ship. Okay, so let's. I, I'm new to doing all this. If that wasn't obvious, <laughs> so let's move all this stuff into our inventory. That doesn't dismantle. And I'm guessing these aren't dismantling because they're not repaired. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, well anyway, we need one hermetic seal and one metal plating. Now if we fly this back to our freighter, I think... I'm not sure how this gets back there. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, but anyway, let's get... Have we scanned all you guys? Yeah, I think we have. So we just need some ferrite. Well, what do we need for a hermetic seal? I don't think I've actually made one of those since we started the game. We need... Oh, we can make one now. Okay. And then, then we just need some ferrite dust a little bit more. Okay, so now we should be able to repair this. Good. Okay, so now the ship is flyable. Do I have any sodium nitrate? I want to see if I if I repair that, if I can then break it down. Go back to the starship. Repair. Okay, now can we break this down? No, we still can't. Darn it. Okay. I guess that's just hard hardwired into the ship. We can move it, but we can't dismantle it or repair it. Okay, so that's I think that's all we can do. So yeah. My question now though is how do we get this back to our freighter? And and speaking of which, we can actually call the freighter right up over our head. Way cool. Okay, so let's fly this up. Uh, you know what? I actually like this ship better than the one we have now. But the problem is, is, is if we went with it, we would have a bunch of repairing to do. I'm not sure I want to go to all that effort since we're really after a fighter anyway. loud. Ok, 
Okay, now. Is the Radiant Pillar also back? Look at all these ships coming in. Oh, that's a cool looking ship. Oh, it's an S-Class! For 14 million units. Oh, that is such a cool looking ship, you guys. I don't like the color, though. Uh, what's this one? That's a B class. We there's no way we could afford it though. I mean, let's just just for just for the heck. Okay, let's jump back in here because this is the one that's worth a lot of money. Make that our active ship. Okay, so um, uh, make an offer. Price. Oh, wow. Our ship is actually worth that much money? We could do this. We could exchange the flying bathtub for an S class fighter, you guys. What is this? A Vesper sail. High performance solar sail deployed automatically during flight. This advanced propulsion device generates an electric field with cells themselves, allowing the starship to build the momentum from the solar wind. Offers substantial gains in fuel efficiency and boost. That is cool. Okay, so we're gonna have a bit of a conundrum here because I can't move the damaged stuff over so if we do this we're gonna lose everything in this ship that's damaged so I guess my question is if we exchange this do we get an opportunity to pull this stuff off first. Because if I decline and then go try and start pulling that out, he might take off. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. Okay, transfer items. Inventory is not transferred when exchanging ships. Inventory is not transferred when exchanging ships. Transfer items to the new ship before completing exchange. So you're saying all, I guess they mean, okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, what do I have in, in here? Quick transfer. Oh, I can transfer that stuff like that. Okay. So when it says transfer items, does, is it talking about that stuff? Okay, here, here's the bottom line. Absolute worst case scenario, we lose all of this stuff. All of this stuff put together is still not, in my opinion, worth missing out on this S-Class fighter. But if I interpret this correctly... Wait, what just happened? Oh, we bought it. Yeah, we lost all that stuff. That is a stupid shit-ass way to do this. The game has got to give us a way to get our stuff off the other ship, but the problem is that when I'm in the process of doing that, what if he decides to take off? Well, we just lost a lot of equipment, you guys. But we gained an S-Class, very cool looking fighter. The paint is terrible, but the rest of it's cool. <laughs> um, and we still have 3.7 million. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a bittersweet situation is what it boils down to. Um, 
because we had a lot of expensive components on that ship and I'm just irritated that we couldn't get them off of there in time. So I don't know, maybe this was a mistake. I don't know. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. But this game needs to have a way that you can... Why do I still have a distress signal on the map? It needs to have a way that you can transfer your items without the ship taking off in the meantime while you're trying to pull them off. Maybe it does, and maybe I just don't know how that works. Let's take it for a spin. Oh man, this, <laughs> this thing is so cool, you guys. Got a photon. Well, what's it look like? Ooh, those sails kind of obstruct your vision a little bit in first person. gonna say I shouldn't have any contraband. You shouldn't have anything in your inventory, right? Yeah. You're just all busted up. The other question I have is how do we get the radiant pillar back up here? Can we call it? Switch docked ship, summon trade rocket, summon freighter, summon exocraft, summon anvil of the void. That seems to suggest it's already docked. Where is it? It's not so much that I care about the Radiant Pillar. I, I just want to learn how to do it for future reference. I don't see it docked. Okay, so what happens if we do this then? If we go here and we switch to Radiant Pillar. Okay, now, what did anything just happen? Summon Radiant Pillar. Oh, okay, so... So do we switch to it and then and then summon it? How do I summon it, though? It's not actually summoning. Do I have to be standing over here? F select. I don't know, man. I'm confused. What if I log out of the game? That's a C class. No. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So either it came here right away and I just missed it or it takes a few moments for it to appear. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So now we know how to bring our ship back that we that we exchanged. Okay, where's that old clunker at? It must be over on this side. There we go. So I think what'll happen is we fly this over to to the station. We sell it and then the game should send one of our other ships over to us. Probably the Radiant. 
or maybe the last one we flew, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna make 4.3 million off of this. What happens if you don't have room in your exosuit for all this stuff? Okay, so did it bring... Yeah, it brought Radiant Pillar back, okay. C-class. Both of those are C-classes. Alright, here, let's talk to this guy. Offer to trade. Alright, so we want to sell... The Indium Scraps for 3 million, the Subatomic Ravers for 9-something, and those for 3-something. We got a storage augmentation too. Well, that's cool. Okay. Um, and so that bring, gets us up to eight. Well, just a tad over eight million. All right. Um. So that's interesting. That <coughs> excuse me. That's the first time I've ever done that. Uh, when I played in in the Beyond update back in 2019. I found some some ships like that, but the ones that I found, I gen uh, I generally kept. I didn't like um, bring them back here to sell them. I don't rem at least I don't remember doing that. So it's kind of cool to see how that works. And again, you know, it's uh, I feel a little bit bummed that we lost all that stuff, but but I also feel pretty good that we got ourselves a nice S class fighter too. So. <laughs> You know, it's a mixed blessing, I guess. That's a, that's the definition of a mixed blessing. So what can you do? All right, so this changes our plans significantly, though. Because the whole idea was that we wanted to salvage crash ships to get enough money so we could buy ourselves a nice fighter. Well, we got our nice fighter now. Um, however, I am going to have to re-outfit it. Um, so there is that, too. I'm just looking at something there. Okay, so this is now our new ship. Yeah, it almost seems like it may have a few less spaces than... tech spaces than the other ship, but... You know, that's okay. We... We'll make it work. This ship, this ship is definitely a lot better. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Tell me what we have. All right. So we have a massive amount of larval corps. So we can turn those into nanites and use those nanites to repurchase pretty much everything we lost. Um, and... Yeah, I don't actually know. We shouldn't have to farm salvage data because the salvage data just bought us some blueprints. So anything that's blueprinted, we just have to remake. Anything that was a module, we'll have to rebuy um, with nanites. And these will give us a bunch of nanites. So it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be too hard for us to recover from this. It's going to take me a little bit of effort. But I think in the long run, we will be in a better position. All right, guys. Well... I think that's it for this episode. So I'm going to spend some off-camera time um, re-outfitting our ship here. And once I get it re-outfitted, uh, or if I have a compelling reason to bring it back before it's re-outfitted, I will do that. But the plan for the moment is uh, for me to farm up and do everything I need to get this re-kitted out, the ship. And then when that happens, we'll bring you back at that point. And we have two major things that will have to happen. Uh, I want to get started following the storyline and moving towards the center of the galaxy. And we also have our freighter that we need to start working on. So what I'll probably do is split up 
uh, split the episodes up. So, you know, have one where we work on the freighter and then have one where we do some exploring and one where we work on the freighter, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's the tentative plan for now. All right, you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in... Hold on. No, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I totally screwed that up. I need to hotkey my uh, emotes. Where is... That's camera view. Where are the emotes at? Oh, they're right here. I will see you... I will see you in the next episode so goodbye and be cool see you guys